Wyoming County community is tired of drivers racing through their neighborhood, and now they've come up with a possible solution to stop the speeding. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us there live with more on this one. Cody. Nick, good evening. Residents say four major roads in the borough are becoming an issue here on College Avenue, Riverside Drive, Church Street, and Highland Avenue. You have to be concerned about something uh, happening someday, and uh, once it happens, then it's too late. Signs are being staked into the ground as more people accelerate above the posted speed limit signs in Factoryville. Paul Fields has lived in the borough for 18 years, 10 years here on Riverside Drive. They know that there's normally no police here, and so, you know, you, you hear them wanting to see how fast they can get from one end to the other. Dalton Police Department is contracted by the borough for police protection. The community is worried about children, the elderly, and anyone walking or biking the trolley trail. Our community has uh, gotten together and just said we, we've kind of had enough and we want people to start slowing down. Lou Jasikoff is the organizer of a new group called Reduce the Speed. It's focused on finding ways to make people more alert. Most recently, selling Drive Like Your Kids Live Here signs to homeowners for $5. That's what this is all about. It's, it's awareness, working together with council and with law enforcement and, and folks in the community. The group Reduce the Speed is compiling ideas to present a proposal to the borough council next week. Some of those ideas include photo speed enforcement, more police enforcement, and to have more signage with the help of PennDOT. In Factoryville, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Nick? Cody, thank you. Factoryville's borough council's next monthly meeting is going to be held on Wednesday, September 9th at 6.30 p.m.